And this video is for how to make a bat, a 2D animation bat, sort of like this one right here. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be kind of like this one. All right, so let's get started with that. Let me switch the camera. And we're going to be drawing here. There we go. So the camera's on there. Get my volume up. Make sure you can hear me. Well, pause the music I'm playing here so it doesn't interrupt. There we go. All right. So, really, the main thing we need to get is the bat shape. So, I'm going to start out with pencil. I got a regular pencil here. And sorry for it being upside down. I'm gonna do this in three drawings, but my first drawing, I'm just basically gonna trace that. So the bat sort of looks like, it's gonna be a circle. So I just started with a circle. I'm gonna put his ears. And his other ear. Then you have feet. I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the ears for the feet. Let's make a little oval down here. Then give them some claws. Give them some more claws on the other side. And then his wings, this is gonna be a little bit tougher, but I'm just gonna start with a straight line. Then I'm gonna come down, down. And I'm gonna make another straight line here, like I did a rectangle almost. And I'm gonna hold it up so you can see what I have. Cause I, I know it's kind of like, so this is what I have so far. So I have circle, two ovals for the ears. I have an ovals for his legs. And then I just kind of did like a cloud. It's like cloud legs. And then for the wings, as of right now, I just have the two rectangles. All right, so let me put a face on it. What's the face on the original one? Let me just, uh, for a reference, let me look at what the original one was like. Oh, his eyes are closed. Okay. Okay, mine's going to look a little bit different. That's good. That's a good thing. It's good if it's a little bit different. It's not a bad thing. I'm going to down again. All right, I'm going to make mine's eyes open. So circle eyes. And then... I'm gonna go right here and give him like a dog nose. And put a little triangle here. And then he's gotta have bat teeth. And now I'm gonna fix his wings. So I'm just gonna do like a triangle or a zigzag. And I have one, two, three and a half points. So I'm gonna try to do that again on this side. So one, two, three, and that's my half. Good enough. I don't wanna do too much drawing here because then I'm gonna have to draw it a whole bunch of times. All right, and there is his eye. So I'm gonna grab a pen. Hopefully I have a pen that's gonna make it for me today. Make it darker.
Oh, my pen is on the way out. His eyes, because this pen is a little bit too big, I can't make any big details. So that's okay. I have another little pencil here that's going to help me. I should have made it bigger. All right, now I spent a little bit too much time on making this, but this is what I have now. So that's going to be my bat. And I'll fix them later. But for now, that's what I got. So now I got my other piece of paper. I have, I need one, two, and including this one, that'd be three. Trace them. So if I have them up, Let's make this one the down one. So now I'm going to move my paper up some. So I have this paper is here and then this paper is here. And then I'm going to trace it. I wish I had a smaller marker, but I don't. That's okay. You know, I'll use this. Um, Use this. I'll use this and I'll just redo another one. So a slight adjustment here. I'm I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use this one for my final animation because the marker's too big. So I'm gonna need three sheets of paper total, and then I'll trace the bat that I have three times. So let's do that. So this one will be technically my first one. And I'll put whatever details I want later once I have it done. But for now, I just want to hurry up and get the animation part done. I'm not worried so much about the details. Focus on getting focus on getting the animation done first, then the details second. Because if you do a lot of details in the beginning, then you're going to feel like you're drawing a whole bunch of stuff for forever. So try to focus on the details after you're done the animation. All right, so almost got this first one done. All right, so now this is going to be my first one. Move this out the way. Then we're going to go to our second one. Move the paper up, move the paper up some, so that way on the next frame, the bat is flying up. We'll just stagger the paper some. So on this one, I'm going to draw his wings last. I want to make sure I draw his wings last because I'm going to do something different with the wings this time. Everything else is the same. Wings are different.
All right, so now I'm gonna make the wings. The wings were up on the first one, so now I'll make the wings go like sideways, like straight. So I'm gonna need to go straight out. All right, and then now that I kind of have my, so now I have the wings, like I want them to go straight instead of pointing up. I'm gonna try to line that up with the wing that I already have and then just trace it. And now one more, pretty much the same thing. And I'm gonna move the paper again so he's a little bit down more. And this time I'm gonna have the wings pointing down. But everything else is the same. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trace everything the same, and then I'll do the wings last. All right, so this is the one I have now. And I just drew the straight lines pointing down so you can know where the wings are going to go. And now I'm going to just line them up to the last one and then trace the rest of the wing. And then line it up. And now I'm, I'm pretty much done here. All right, so I got I got my one. Let me make it so you can see it. It's one, two. Now, if I want to do detail stuff, you can do that now. So maybe I can do some ears here. Put the little lines for his ear. I can, I don't want to do too much because then I'm going to have to keep drawing it. Try to fix this section here. All right, so let's do that on the next one. So I put the line for his ears. Then I made this a little bit darker. that. All right. Next one. Line 
for the ears. Oh, there's a little line here I'm missing on them on the other one, so I'll go and fix that real quick too. It's darker. All right, let me put this line back on here. Right here. All right, let's start taking these pictures. And then we'll be good to go. All right, for the pictures this time, I'm gonna do a little, a little bit different. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab this piece of cardboard or, or I'm gonna grab an easel. Give me one second. All right, so I have these easels or a piece of cardboard I can use. And what I'll do is I'll put my paper on that. And then hopefully we can get this lined up. So it's not as slanted. So it's not like sitting on the table or laying down on the table, but also this is gonna help it stay still. I'm gonna go click my timer, bam. Take my picture, bam. One picture. Two. And here comes number three. All right, move my easel to the side. With that now I'm going to put those pictures into Google Google Slides and switch cameras, and then after we get it into Google Slides, we'll name it and put it into Tall Tweets. Same same steps as always. So my Google Slides about to open up. I'll open up blank. delete the stuff that's in there you can click on click on the line hit delete click on the line hit delete move this stuff out the way i'm gonna go make sure i duplicate duplicate slide somebody said that they want to do it from hitting the plus here you're gonna have to go hit the little arrow next to the plus and then say blank that's another way you can do it up to you. You go to insert, image, upload from computer. Then you have to find where your pictures go. So now at this point, I have a whole bunch. Here's my first one. Bam. Second one. Bam. Third one coming up. Bam. All right. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna crop it first. That's gonna take it, make it take a little bit longer. Sorry for the length of the video. Gotta click on this. You go up here to these little, uh, I don't know, it's like two L's on, on top of each other. Or you can click when it turns blue, if you click again, oh, if you click like twice really quick, it comes up. And then you move over the black uh, bars. And then when you click again, bam, it's cropped. So let's do that again. This is the cleanest way to do it if you want your stuff to look nice and clean without a whole bunch of background up in it. You don't want to see yourself because then you're all moving in the back. We just have just the paper. Oh, let me do it this other way real quick. So you click on this, the arrows right here, or L's, so upside down L. But this is the cleanest way to have your work look nice and clean. I'm gonna go click on this and go check my work. Let's see what it's looking like. That's not that bad. 
the only um I guess the only problem is is I probably I know it's going to loop but it's going to skip down so maybe because I know it's going to skip down I'm going to put right at the end I'm going to put my middle one on there uh, that's something that you kind of won't know you kind of have to just look at it and tell but this frame right here I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to put it at the end so let's see what that looks like and then the reason I'm doing that is because I know the video is going to play over and it needs to the end of the video needs to look like the beginning or at least whereas in your mind it looks like you started where you end so if I do it this way with that extra um, repeating frame, it'll play, when it loops, it'll play the first frame again. And then it will start back. Over. So let's see. Let's give this a name. Let's say bat, bat boy. How about that, bat boy? Then we'll go to tall tweets. I already have tall tweets open, but it's having something else on there. So new tab. And then we're going to go to tall tweets. I have it saved here, but don't forget tall tweets is T A L L T W E E T. This right here, tall tweets. I'm going to go down to your dark purple, hit select presentation. Mine's is called Ball Boy. If you didn't give it a name, it's going to say Untitled Presentation. Almost done here. I put point 0.1, so now my bat is flying. Let's see what that looks like bigger. Bam. So I could go color that in. I could put shadows on it. I could do anything, but this is pretty much done. After this, you would hit save. Save it to your computer. And then it's gonna save as download. And after you have it there, you would upload or post the GIF to Google Classroom. That is it for this video. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't just sit there and wonder what we're supposed to be doing. Actually, actually ask the questions that you need. All right, have a good day y'all, bye.